Good morning, YouTubers, homesteaders out there. So, winter is here whether I want it or not. Today it's 24 degrees here with a wind chill. It's nine degrees. I went out and checked all my pets this morning. We've already had a, a we bought a dog bowl for the chickens uh, that's electric heated and we have elements in the cow troughs. And much to my unpleasant surprise, all the tanks were had a layer of fro frost in them or they're frozen. So both the cow troughs were, had a, a layer of uh, ice. The cows could break them, it's not a big deal, but you know, I wanna make sure this isn't happening. So we either need to turn up those so they're on for more hours in the day, but the chicken water didn't work at all. So I went online and I found that there's a uh, old way to do this is to make um, jugs with salt water. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this as an experiment today and we're gonna give it a try. So I've already got my jugs um, that I found in my recycling and don't throw anything away when you're a homesteader because you never know when you're gonna use it. So we need things laying around. And so it said that the cow waters is to keep the, the water moving so that it won't freeze on top. So I found four somewhat big ones for there. And it said to put in five tablespoons of kosher salt in each one of these. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now, none of this will leach into the cow's water. And so we'll put the, them on tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this in all the jugs. Okay, there's four and five. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that in every one of these jugs and give them a good shake and uh, make sure they're on really tight. Make sure they're not gonna leak. I already took the labels off because they did not want the labels to come loose into their troughs. Now on the chicken waters, it said to put the water in here and then put a quarter cup of kosher salt. So we're gonna go ahead and get a measuring cup for that. Okay, and we're gonna put a quarter cup of kosher salt in that one. And it said I could go ahead and put this in side of their plastic watering trough. So we're gonna give that a try. And then I am gonna try the dog bowl and see if that works. So I filled these, well, not quite a half full, because you want them to float, I guess. I guess that's the idea. We'll see if this old farmer's idea works. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish these and then we're gonna take them out and we're gonna put them in the troughs. All right, they're all filled. I've shook them. I'm ready to take them outside. And I bought this. I bought the uh, microphone protector for the wind. So let's hope it's better when I'm talking to you today. All right, here I am. I'm headed back outside. Oh my goodness, it's cold this morning. Remember, I told you it was 24 degrees out and we've had about 30 mile an hour sustained winds. I've got my basket with my jugs and I'm headed out here. The cows and the chickens, they're all being pretty smart today. And uh, let's throw these in the cow trough and see how it goes. All right, you can see it is a blowing. Our tarps are already falling apart. Note to self, don't buy cheap tarps. Cows are hiding in their house. They are really protected because this is a northeasterly wind. So here's their troughs. Like I said, we have them on electric and we have them on timers, but I already was out here. I already broke the ice. It had a thin layer, you can see it, and filled these troughs. So I do have electric here, but so I'm just gonna drop these in and we're we're gonna we're gonna just see if they float. Alright. How's this gonna go? The cows will probably freak out and go, what are these? 
All right. <laughs> so it said two per trough. You could do more, I guess, if it doesn't work. But in this wind, having some water in the troughs, that'll keep them also from blowing out. So my chickens are, or chickens, my cows are kind of skittish, so hopefully they'll, they'll get past these water bottles being in their dish. All right, so we're going to put these two in the chicken waters. So back over here to the chickens. I've already said hi to them this morning as well, and I was not very happy with what I thought was going to work. If you like this, no trespassing. I don't think it'll work, but <laughs> so far it's keeping most things out. My little sign, except for mice and an occasional little bird. See, I broke all this ice out of this and I verified it was working. Let's check this out. I think it's already got, see, this is literally, I put fresh water in it. This is literally maybe 15, 20 minutes ago, already getting a layer of ice. So let's put one of these in here. And we're just going to see, because it's, I bought this off Amazon. It's definitely going back because uh, it is not working. And this is what it looked like before. I already broke this once too. So I'm not going to use this one. That was just kind of their old one. But it said we could go ahead and drop one in this tank. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this tank out and drop one inside. See, this one's got ice in it too. It's not solid, which I'm pretty impressed by. You can get the water moving. No, it didn't freeze solid down there at the bottom. So I, I got to use both hands and I'm going to take the lid off here. Oh, boy, these things get on here really tight though, people. I don't think I can get it off. I think I'm going to have to go get my husband. Oh, I think I got it. <laughs> Just took some effort. Okay, so let's look inside here. And you can see totally frozen in there. All right. Let's go ahead. I got my water bottle right here. Let's go ahead and drop it inside. All right, you can see it's floating. And uh, I'm going to give it a good shake, the water, and then I'm going to put it back in here and we'll see if, if this thing, see, the water's coming out now. We'll see if this keeps the water from freezing or not. Okay, giving it a good shake. Get my basket out of the way. So the salt won't leach in there because it's in that water bottle because we don't want to give our chickens any salt. So I'm going to go ahead and break this ice out. All right, back in their house. They, are, they have a nice house, and they're, but they're all hiding. They're up there in their coop. The light's on. This water's good. We'll come back maybe. We'll come back in a, probably a good couple hours and see what it looks like. Okay, this is an experiment. I hope this helps. All right, that one's still floating there too. So let's see how this all works in a couple hours. Good morning. We're back the next day. So we're going to go outside and we're going to see how the water bottles that I put salt and um, water in, how they fared in the cow troughs and the chicken waters. But before I do that, it's only 24 degrees this morning. It is cold. So what I want to do, I'm going to show you what I do before I go outside. Actually, I do this every day, whether I'm going outside or not, but definitely before I go outside. This is my handmade hand balm and face balm. So I'm going to show you guys next how I make these in another video, but this is what I call my beef cream. It's made out of my 100% grass fed, all organic cow fat that I rendered from getting our cows back from butchering. So this, I put it on liberally. 
my hand cream so my hands don't crack, and then my face cream. Just to keep it from chapping, a little extra layer of protection from the cold. And because I made it, I know what's in it, just essential oils, and I'm not allergic to them. I'm going to rub those right on my lips, better than any chapstick or face cream she will use. So anyway, I'm going to bundle up, and we're going to go check on the pets. Come with me. Good morning. Like I told you, I'm outside and I wanted to show you why I call it Blue Sky Ranch. As you can see, oh, all around me today, blue skies. I could already hear my rooster talking to me, Rip. He's ready for his morning treat. Every day I bring them a little bit of treats left over from my cooking. I'll show you what that is today. So today their treats consist of their favorite popcorn and apple. I'm kind of addicted to popcorn, so if I have popcorn, they have popcorn. They are lucky birds. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down and we're gonna go check out the water. Okay, we're back to the no trespassing. Hi guys! I hear you. Alright. Okay, so here's the water bottle. So, I'm going to tell you though, I did figure out why my dog water bottle wasn't working yesterday. It was my extension cord. So, this here is not probably a true test. So, let's check the water one. <laughs> let's check the one inside the coop. All right, so let's go and check that water trough. Hey, kids. Good morning. Do you want out? Do you guys want out today? Come on, I got treats. Come on. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. So to get them out of there, we're going to give them their treats. Come on, ladies. Come on, ladies. Come on, ladies. And they love their popcorn. Come on, everybody. Come on. This is Rip. And this little pepper. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Chicka, chicka. Everybody's out of here but one, but she usually hangs back. But anyway, okay, they're having their treats. They are happy. All right, so here's their water trough. And as you can see, it is solid frozen. Okay, well, there's a little bit of water right there. And they could peck at that. So I guess that's not so bad. Well, let me take the lid off and let's see how I did. All right, so I'm back here taking this rascally lid off. Hey, we're going to peek inside now. Okay, and what, what surprises me here is somehow the water, most of it leaked out. It was a lot fuller, so I'm not really sure what caused that. And you can see it's frozen down there, but the water bottle's not frozen. And the water below that little layer of ice doesn't look frozen. And the water... I mean, chickens could peck at that. There's water. So without heating this, you know, we'll see. I'll keep doing this. I'm going to fill it with water right now and see if it works better later. So I went ahead and I dumped some water in here. And you can see there was just really not that much ice in there. So and all the water came out the side, so it wasn't plugged up. I'm thinking this was a win. But we'll give this a shot all day again today, too. Okay, we're going to go check on the cow water now. Come on, Rip, can you take me there? He just loves to go into this cow's house and spread around their straw. <laughs> he helps me a lot. Okay, again, I think it got to be probably around 5 degrees wind chill last night. And usually, even with these electric troughs, I would get a thin layer of ice like I did yesterday. And we have nothing. Absolutely nothing. So the purpose of these plastic salt water jugs was to keep the water moving. So it couldn't just freeze that layer on the top. Oh, <laughs> there he goes. Can you see him? 
There they go. Off to work in the straw pile. Good boy. <laughs> anyway, total win in the cow troughs. Maybe a win in the chicken troughs. The sky today is just amazing, people. Last night we had that rose full moon. It was incredible. Feeling pretty blessed today here at Blue Sky Ranch. My farm duty chores were a little easier today. I didn't have to break water. You know, it's all about balance. It's all about balance, people. And uh, I love my pets, but I also don't need to be tortured every morning. So I try to make it the best I can, as frugally as I can. And that was part of this little trick was to see because we run those water troughs for the cows. They're on a timer to come on every other hour to save us a little bit on electricity. Um, we do have solar here and uh, it helps a lot on the farm, but still, you know, this time of year we don't have as much solar because the days are shorter. Anyway, thank you. And don't forget to come back and join me. I'm going to show you how to make tallow, beef cream. We're going to do face cream and hand cream. And anyway, if you like this episode, like, subscribe, and share. And I'll continue with my farm journey here on the homestead. Blue Sky Ranch.